Today is a very exciting day for pretty much everyone who plays Minecraft because the new snapshot is released and it has got a ton of new features, all of which were announced at Minecon 2016. Now two of them really stand out to me. We've got the Observer block, which is essentially a block update detector, and also we've got this thing right here known as the Shulker box. Now this is a new type of chest in Minecraft that can be picked up with all of the items inside, essentially like a backpack, or alternatively, it can be broken by redstone, transported through hoppers, up through droppers, and then dispensed on the other side, giving us movable storage systems. We finally have those in Minecraft, and I personally am absolutely thrilled. Now, one of the first redstone contraptions that came to mind when I saw the shulker box was an item armory, a system in which I could hit a button, get a certain type of item that I wanted delivered to my face, I could pick up those items and then hit a button again, and that would be sent off back into the armory, ready to go over once more. So, if we hit this button right here, then as you can see, we wait a little while, the redstone lamp turns off, which means that it's all working, and our shulker box appears out the front. It is filled to the brim with diamonds, we can pick up some of those if we really want to, then hit this button right here, and it is pushed off into the hopper, and it will make its way back into the system. So that will travel up, and it will travel through a bunch of hoppers, and gradually make its way back into the original spot. The redstone lamp will turn back on, meaning that we can request another set of items, so say for example, this lapis right here. We hit the button, we make the request, redstone lamp turns off, shulker box appears, and there we go. We've got plenty of the dark blue stuff. Now the way that this thing works really is quite simple. Behind all of our buttons, we've got a bunch of repeaters. They all run it into the slime blocks, which run into the droppers. Now inside these droppers, we have got all of our shulker boxes. So the first one is the diamond one, then we have the emerald one, then the gold one, then all of the other ones, and they're all in the correct order. So if we hit one of these buttons right here, that will power the slime block, which will power the dropper, and it will send the shulker box out into these hoppers over here, make its way down into this dispenser, and that dispenser will auto dispense the shulker box out into the front right here, so we have access to all of the diamonds that we saw in the beginning. Now if you're wondering why we have all of the slime blocks up at the top here, that's simply to move the blocks out of the way so that you can't spam all of the buttons while there's a shulker box out the front, because of course that would cause a pile up of shulker boxes, that wouldn't be particularly brilliant. But anyway, the braking system is a tiny bit more complicated. When we hit this button right here, obviously our shulker box gets pushed into the hoppers, it then goes up into the item elevator, and it makes its way into a specific location, because the only dropper that doesn't have a shulker box isn't giving a comparator output, which means that the hopper up at the top is unlocked. So all of these hoppers are locked, you can see that the item wouldn't be able to drop into them because they're powered, but the one that doesn't have an item on the inside, that will be unpowered, which means that the shulker box can actually drop down through that hopper and back down into the correct location. I hope all of that made sense. I know it's a little bit all over the place, some of these new terms and everything might be a little bit difficult to understand. I myself am trying my best to grasp all of this, and I highly doubt this is going to be the best design for an item armory. I'm going to be working on them over the next couple days, and I'm also going to be working on a ton of other redstone contraptions, because I have got hundreds upon hundreds of ideas to do with the observer block, and also the shulker box. But I hope you enjoyed this really quick video showcasing my latest contraption. If you did, please sure to hit that like button, and if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.